Hey there, super coders. Welcome to Nova Scratch Lab. Oh, and meet my super smart and sometimes silly coding buddy, Pixel. Hi, uh, I'm Pixel, Nova's brainy buddy. Before we started here are some cool words that you should now. Hey, do you know what a sprite is? It's like the character or object in your game, kind of like the actors in a movie. You can dress them up, make them talk, dance, jump, anything you want. Hmm, all of these look similar, but one of them is definitely different. But how do I make a game out of this? Sounds like you're ready to create a find the odd one game, Nova. Let me guide you. All right, Nova, step one, we need some characters for the game. Pick a few that look similar and one that's totally different. That'll be your odd one. And hey, if you want to invite our classic cat from the Scratch library, she'd be thrilled to join too. All set. All right, Nova, let's make our odd one talk when someone clicks on it. Which block do we use when we want a sprite to react to a click? A, when green flag clicked. B, when this sprite clicked, C, forever. Next, let's make the sprite talk in a big booming voice like a giant. Set voice to giant. This changes how the sprite sounds. You can make it sound like a robot, a mouse, or even a giant. Okay, okay, I know what to do next. Speak, right choice. This makes your sprite say something out loud. So when you click the odd one, it will say right choice in a deep giant voice. Cool, right? Exactly. And finally, we want the sprite to disappear after being clicked, like it's saying goodbye. Hide. This tells the sprite, great job, now take a break. You are right. Pixel, there's a problem. When I click the green flag, I can't see the monster. Don't worry, Nova. The solution is actually hidden in your question. Right now, the monster is hidden. That's why you can't see it. To fix it, you need to make it visible using the show block. Oh, so I should use the show block when the green flag is clicked, right? Because I want the monster to appear at the start of the game. Awesome. Now, how do I make sure the wrong ones don't do that? That's easy, Nova. Just copy the monster's code and paste it into the other sprites. Then, change the sound to squeak, and also, change the message inside the say block to try again. Hey, Pixel, this is awesome. But how do I show a winning page after the player clicks the correct sprite? Or maybe a try again page if they get it wrong? Great question, Nova. Let's use the magic of broadcasting to do that. Broadcast, correct? Now this one is like sending a message, kind of like shouting across the scratch stage. Yay, the player got it right. Once this message is sent, any other part of your project that is listening for, correct, will wake up and do its job. Got it, Pixel. Imagine you're at a birthday party and someone yells, cake time, happy birthday. As soon as you hear it, you drop everything and run to the cake table. That's what broadcast correct does, right? Yes. This tells Scratch, someone clicked the right answer. Time to switch to the win page. Okay, okay, but we've got a problem, Pixel. When we click the wrong answer, the backdrop changes to the winning one and the monster disappears. But the boys are still standing there. It looks really messy. We can fix that, Nova. Just add this code to all three boys. Start with when I receive win, then go to the looks category and add the hide block. That way, all the sprites will disappear when we win the game. Which block tells the whole project to change something based on an event? A, say hello. B, broadcast message. C, go to X colon, Y colon. Exactly. You're not just coding, you're directing a whole show. Pixel, when the game restarts, I want it to go back to the beginning, like the first backdrop and everything. How do I do that? 
Great question, Nova. We can totally do that with just a few blocks. Here's how. Step one, use the when green flag clicked block. This is like pressing the reset button. Whenever a player clicks the green flag, the game starts from the beginning. Step two, add switch backdrop to start screen. This tells Scratch, hey, show the first scene again, just like rewinding a movie back to the start. Think of your game like a storybook. The green flag is like closing the book and opening it to page one again. And switch backdrop to start screen makes sure page one is the first thing they see. Yay, it works. I made a logic game. Well done, Nova. What should we build next? Maybe a memory game or quiz. I can't wait. Let's go. If you enjoyed building this game with us, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Scratch fun. See you in the next tutorial. Happy coding.